Alright, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Yu Yu Hakusho, Hakusho episode 107. 107. Alright. Yomi versus his son. That was resolved, mm-hmm. and now the tournament is on its way. Yep. yep. Well on its way. Yep. Let's we, get through these fights. We need to we need to get through a lot of these side character fights here. Mm-hmm. So we can get to the uh, bigger ones. Just and given that block. we got through Yusuke and uh, Yomi um, rather quickly here, uh, I would love to see uh, how they handle the kind of technical thing that they're going through right now where Yusuke is intentionally not using any abilities. Right. Um, and how that could play into what the other characters do that could be big um, fights in the future for this tournament. Yeah. Assuming we get to the end of this tournament. Yeah, which I get, they, I get the feeling we, we probably won't, but who knows? Yeah. I The main thing is I want to get to a point where um, two of our three boys fight each other. Yes. Like, like have a fight between two of the three of them. He and Yusuke. Yeah. That's, that's what we're here for, basically. Mm-hmm. But yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Chorus of 10,000 Cool, cool. Spirit of the Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're just going through it. You are, there's always someone better. I... Yep. But Toya here is plenty used to dispensing of a superior, isn't that right, Boyo? Whatever. <laughs> Boyo. Right, time for the wind to pick up. Wait up, Suzuga. Oh, this kid can be so annoying. Of course, how can he be blamed when he's chasing these kind of looks? <laughs> oh. Run too fast. Oh. Oh. Who put that wall there? <clears throat> I think it's time you stop chasing skirts and watch. Old Jin needs support from all his best blokes. Yeah, you just yeah. tell us because she's cute. Not cuter than my own, Sheila. Now let's keep our eyes on the Go ahead and change the subject. I can see all the red on your cheeks. Let the match begin! Up, up, and away! No. <laughs> it's nice up here. Oh, great wind. I get the feeling this is gonna go badly, like really badly. What? Oh. Oh. Two flying foes. Yeah. Okay. Out. So Captain's patient attack sends Jin falling painfully into the dirt. I really hope there's more to this battle than just that. Or rattled him for a second. Yeah. That, sir, was merely an introduction. An appetizer to my main course of pain. If, to hear that, sir. if the demons are There's wanting renown from this, the telly. I could see them, like, making an example of some of their opponents, you know? Hmm. You got to be kidding. What, now my eyes are broken? Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's down there. <laughs> Whoa. How'd you be getting up here? That's the wind manipulator's tragic flaw. You can only move as fast as the wind can take you. Whoa, that's that's cool. Okay. It doesn't seem as if Jin is holding it together out there. My ancestors' pals are pretty bad dudes. So Ketsu and Rising makes sense. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was pretty sure he was one of the friends, yeah. Yeah. My friend. In the tournament, every person I see is an enemy. <laughs> even me? We're saying you feel that way about anyone you face? <laughs> yes, even you. No, what about Karama? Yeah, if Hie had to fight Karama, that would be very interesting. After you. Oh no. Oh, oh, he went through it. Oh, okay. I should have known. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the line. Oh, no. This is like the competition of one liners. Yeah. Yeah, they can't just knock them off the ring because they'll just get back right. on. It looks like Jen might be down, but with Soketsu having that much difference in power, it's not surprising. I'm not a fan of that echo. Some handy tricks I still have. No, where's me wind? Are you still planning to continue? Planning on winning! Didn't pick up the 
train with Ginkai and the others to drop the Oh no. no Sudden backstory for a side character. Fights can be compared to that. If I'm to be beaten by use case hands alone. Did he learn the lesson of what, you know, Yomi's son is supposed to learn? Sure. You remind me of myself a long time ago. You? How's that? It was about 1,500 years ago. No. Oh my god. I fought against Ryzen. I was just like you at the time, blinded by my ambition, focused to a fault on defeating Ryzen, never realizing that I'd be the one to fall that day, that in fact the battle was over before it began. Regardless of the outcome, I was honored to okay. fight with Ryzen. Someday I will defeat him. I want one more chance at victory. This is the singular motivation that has carried me to here. He's dead. But now Ryzen is gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you get? <clears throat> so I'll fight you, Skay. Same as me. You're yeah. fighting, but holding out until you have the chance to face down Ryzen's ancestor, Yusuke, again. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. The random first person point of view of the fist uh -huh. coming in. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Stay down. Call it, ref. Call it. You, you're joking. I shall be fighting against Yusuke but me! That's amazing. Your bones should have been turned to jelly by now. And so you'll have to kill him? True now I am, if you've got anything else left. Holy shit. I mean... <sighs> Tagashi would have the balls to kill, just... Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> like, there's no way he's cool hand Luke in this. Or... Maybe? He's out. I think the kid's comatose. Yeah. Jin has yeah. passed out. Eyes yeah. okay. right where he stands. That is dedication. No one competes nice. with this youngster's enthusiasm. Cool. Just like Epo. Yep, you know. yep. Mm -hmm. Since Jin doesn't seem to be able to fight any further, so Katsu is declared Respect, the respect. Yep. Come on. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hang him up. Oh, still beat him, I can. <laughs> You're lucky, Jin. This could have ended much worse for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it could. Very have. lucky. Cool, okay. All right. I was worried it was going to go a lot longer with that mm -hmm. backstory bit. No. Yeah. Okay. We're backstory still... for both characters? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God, no. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> Natsumi, yep. I didn't mean to badmouth or anything. I was just watching the brawl. Is that Kuju, your boyfriend? Are you kidding? No way. He's my twin brother. Oh, See, I gotcha. I hate to have to break it to you. Doesn't look like your brother's walking away a winner. We'll see. Keep watching. All right. Oh, we'll keep watching. All right. How could I not watch? Yeah. What an oaf. <laughs> I'm wondering when the ice will actually like come into play here. Oh, there we go. What are you doing? My power. My ice can suck your demon energy right from you. Oh. How deep it runs in your veins. Oh shit! Not just okay. Any time. No one caught in my ice can use any of their energy. See all this? This is your energy. Here it comes. Right. So Before he walked into the arena. <laughs> we're getting we're getting backstory for everybody. Your time in the sun is over. <laughs> okay. Gonna hit you with melee now. Yep. Can't win with ranged Ready? attacks. Nope. I could take that hit or just get out of here. What'll it be? So much for draining his demon energy. How do you stop power left? Huh, I don't. I used it all up just to bust out of your ice cage. 
You're lying, and I can see it all over your face. I'm not lying. I just want to win. Like you! <laughs> Damn you! You let the ice take away just enough of your powers to even us out. I'm not gonna put up with those kind of handicaps. <laughs> Sometimes the dialogue in this show. I feel I've almost burned myself out completely. We will live to do it again someday. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Okay. Bromance. Ah, right, it's like the More previous like one. That. You got me. I gotta rest up for the next match. It's also just building up generally Ryzen's buddies. Yeah. Yeah. You know. We're getting it's sort of the passing of the torch, you know, the people from the from the dark tournament mm -hmm. aren't really able to cut it here. It's truly amazing that today's battle between these two groups could be so pleasant. Mm -hmm. so sportsmanlike. Hmm. Hmm. If there were many more of these types of bouts, Demon World just might change for good. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. It's my pleasure to announce Interesting. The first round of groups A and okay. D has I think I see a theme that they're starting to build up with Yusuke specifically. Yeah. You'll be fighting against Yomi very soon. It oh. Can be quite dangerous. Okay. Don't oh. worry about it. I fight even better against the big guys. Right. I thought you'd say that. Hmm. It isn't always easy walking into battle, but I suppose we all have our demons to face. Ha 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 ha. The first rounds have proved to be nothing simple, <laughs> removing most of the dark tournament <laughs> fighters from progressing. But each walked away a victor in his own way. Right. Will Yusuke and the others be able to make it through the next round of battle, or will the crown go to some unknown demon? Okay. okay. So this was the idea. Is that Yusuke's been kind of obsessed with fighting. Mm hmm But you can have the fight without necessarily making uh making the conclusion be about a specific, you know, thing. But it's about how you fight, not what the result of the fight is. Mm, okay. In that Yomi kind of tried to teach that as well. Sure. Because sometimes you're just going to fight someone that's way stronger than you. Mm -hmm. And so Tagashi is trying to subvert the who wins in the fight matters. And it's like, no, it's it's actually irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. It's about like how it. you fight. And then Makuro is like, oh, fighting? Letting these demons be able to get all that out? And then meeting other people that have philosophies of fighting that are attractive? Sure. Makes you go, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Violence for violence sake isn't necessarily the point. Right. But but striving, but growing, mm -hmm. maybe. And it's just the awkward execution of the fact that we don't know or care about really any of these characters. Right. But the theme is trying to be focused on that so yeah, that I when like this gets pointed home with Yusuke, someone we do really care about. Uh huh. It can be uh it can be a little bit of a culmination of his character development with, yeah, with sure. how he with how he approaches fighting. And that's why Kuwabara is the best character. And that's why Kubara is the best character, yes, yes. And then Yusuke is Yusuke is right there behind him in that his um his desire in this arc especially is not about just fighting for the sake of fighting as it was in the beginning of the arc, but it's that he's now trying to find a way in which he sure. can build a, a sustainable system for right. people he, like him. Yeah, he finds that place where he belongs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And or he builds it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay, so well, pretty light episode. Pretty light episode. We yeah. have two fights uh, primarily focused on with mm -hmm. uh, characters that um, we either know very little or nothing about. Yeah. And while, yes, you can use fights like this to quickly kind of give a minor introduction through a backstory a little bit a bit which isn't even really a backstory thing of just like the two fighters that we do know but using the fight itself to show the character yep. of the new characters cool is fair it's fine execution wise this is just something that it feels um feels kind of tacked on it's really right. it's really rough for us to try and get invested here because it's the well uh on on a meta level 
the story's ending soon. We're we're not going mm-hmm. to get more time with these characters. Yeah, that and definitely that, makes it even harder than it would normally be. And it's already hard, even if you don't take that into account. Exactly. Because it's right. the, but we just met these characters, the mm-hmm. Ryzen's friends and stuff. And so we have a bit of an association by comparison in that Ryzen is a fighter who has a respect for the, in some ways, the 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 sport of strength, if, if that makes sense. Sure. But... These other characters, we didn't really know them that well either. I didn't even realize that the person that, uh, that, Jin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that, that's part of the problem, right? Like, the, that the person that Jin was fighting was one of Ryzen's old buddies. Yeah, me neither. Like, I didn't even know that yep. until it was said in the episode. Yeah. And, and I was the, like, I think it is, but I don't know for sure. Right, you know. But the thing is, they could have just as easily have been one of Makuro's 70 generals, you know, or whatever. It doesn't really right? matter. It doesn't really matter. No. And the tough bit is that it has a fight in here, because, okay, yeah, this is... This is Battle Shonen, you know, it's a tournament, it's, you know, you're going to have a lot of fighting and stuff. you could have just skipped all of these. You could have just as easily skipped these, and the amount of time that was spent on the fight could have, I feel like, been spent in other ways. Or just... To help us, to make us start to care about the character. Or just setting up fights that we actually do already care about. Sure. This is, this is a really yeah. tough thing that I've seen in a lot of other uh, Battle Shonen that do uh, tournament arcs and stuff like that is that there's like the three to six main, main characters in there, and you kind of care about some of the other ones a little bit, but it's more that they use those times to introduce new characters, and that's kind of what's happening here, mm-hmm. but it's something where uh, it's, it's, just, it's just really, really tough to get invested in um, these new characters because, one, the fights are being treated in the typical sense as the, oh, who's going to win? And yet the themes are contradicting that, which I kind of like that the themes aren't about who's going to win, but it's about how they fight. And we talked a little bit about that during the ED. But that that's something that really, in some ways, if you're going to do that, lean really hard into that and don't go into the minutia of the fights for their abilities and stuff because... Uh-huh. Uh, really, really, this is the problem a little bit with also the Yu Yu Hakusho magic system, is that it's arbitrary as to who wins. It, yep. There are no stakes, really, in terms of who's going to win for these characters. Right. The main cast or what have you, we've gone very in-depth into understanding when they have a new power or how, it works or and... how their abilities work. Yep. But for the most part, it is a soft magic system where the who's going to win and how is primarily dictated by the story beforehand, not the actual clash of the characters. Well, and to to contrast with the Dark Tournament, Mm -hmm. um, because our protagonists were weaker back then, but also because the battles were with our protagonists, not with side characters, Mm -hmm. we end up having this situation where, say, like, Yusuke's going to be in a fight, right? Yep. Yusuke's outmatched, right? There's someone that's stronger than him. They have some ability, some whatever. Right. And then... In that fight, we know that Yusuke has to win, but in order for it to be justified, he has to get to know the person, he has to familiarize himself with their ability, and that's a way to basically give exposition about the situation in a way that we'll be a lot more accepting of, Mm -hmm. that is then the, in order to get the reward of Yusuke winning, right? It's the, it's the hiding loot around the map of your of your exploration game yep. so that that way people are then invested in exploring the world, right? right. Because they know that there's going to be mechanical rewards and things like that that they get. Mm-hmm. We don't really have that equivalent here mm-hmm. because we don't care about the fighters that much anyways, but also the outcome, it's like, there's there's well, no real stakes well, to it. The, like, the other thing that's really important to separate this from the Dark Tournament is that the Dark Tournament, every single fight that had to do with Yusuke and the crew was one that the consequence of that, even if they were minor, could spill over eventually into the fight with Toguro. Sure. So any damage that they take, any problems that they accrue during the tournament on the way up, because you know this is all rigged against them, is one that sets it up to where it's even harder for them to win the eventual Toguro match. So in this here, where there is no clear um, understanding as who of who's going to fight who, or, there or is no if clear... Or needs to win or why he would well, need to win. Or... Well, right, but there's no clear also even care in our uh, minds about who wins this tournament other than, and let's put this into clear standing here, we understand that the demon 
king of demon world and stuff like that is going to be a very important role. But the only characters that we see right now as problematic for that are Makuro and Yomi. So yep. anything else, we don't know what those other people would do because this is literally just thrown in really quickly, rushed with no setup for these characters as to who they would be. Yep. And therefore, we in our minds think that, and I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, all these characters will not be important in the final stages of the fight because the characters that we know what they would do, basically, if they were the demon king or what have you, are not fighting right now. So, yeah. and and even in the case of, like, yeah. say, Makuro, I'm not entirely convinced that Makuro would be a bad king. We've had a bunch of people talk about how Makuro's bad, but from the stuff that we've seen of them, eh, like, eh. They, they seem fairly reasonable. Like, if... <laughs> I, I might prefer Yomi's them. the one that I would really have a problem with. Yeah, I might prefer them over um, uh, over Yomi for sure. sure. But like you're saying, yeah, it's a thing of where oh, uh, what would that actually look like? Well, we need to get to know Makuro even then a little bit more, right? And then again, it's the well, if you're going to focus on you know understanding the whys of these characters and stuff. Focus on the characters that maybe we could use a little bit more time with. And that's, that's again, just the thing of where I, I don't really have anything, like, super strong to say about mm. this episode other than it, it feels like we're, we're still kind of waiting in the wings for the fights that actually matter. Yep. One other thing that I will say as far as the comparisons to the Dark Tournament, that this helped showcase to me what, how good the things that the Dark Tournament did were, mm -hmm. is that the Dark Tournament had to be team-based. Mm -hmm. And it, and they had yes, to be um, way better, be oh. like three out of five or whatever it was, right? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just about whether or not you won this fight. Mm -hmm. It's about can you win this fight with taking as little damage as possible? Mm -hmm. Can you win other fights so that that way your people that are wounded don't have to fight? Yeah, like there were a lot of little things so that Lots even of little decisions even if and things like even that. if it yeah. didn't matter too much whether the person won a specific fight, that fight and the outcome of it would have consequences not just with fighting to grow in the in the right. long run but in just the other fights with with their buddies yep. you know so it was something where there was there was a lot of different things happening so that you know you could you could really feel invested in it whereas with this Jin's fight it yeah. doesn't matter like no. not really not you know really. um yeah. and and we're also not seeing things where the people die when they have the fights so then there's also this sense of plot armor, right? Well, Where like, yeah, that, that also I don't care about because I don't care what these people live or die, really. But, totally. But the, the but it's it's just another another aspect of there being less stakes than there could be, right? Because well, yeah. if, if, if at the very least it's the, oh shit, someone died, then it's the, but, okay. But but again, you wouldn't care if any of Ryzen's people died. So it, 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 it's... No, no, always... I'm not... Yeah, no, no I'm, I'm more talking about the... the the people that we have met before, the people from the Dark Tournament, Jin and the others, you know, right. I wouldn't deeply care, but at the very least, it'd be like, oh, yeah, g go for it. Do your best to not be killed, okay. you know? Yeah, but, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't even care enough about them to have yeah. it be a thing where if they died, it would really matter if anything story wise. They, 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 they've contributed nothing to the plot up until kind of randomly showing up in this arc the the joking of like if Chu was able to you know uh you know we he's basically become our our fluffy bunny kind of uh, NPC character in this right. thing here where we care about him mostly because he's just really funny and charismatic yeah it's fan but, service but then the problem is is what happens when their presence stops being something that is fan servicey and entertaining because it kind of drags things down yeah yeah exactly yeah. And thus, the best part of this episode in my opinion is Makuro basically realizing that oh you would treat everyone the same regardless of who you fought. Mm. Looks over to Kurama. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. But then also the, hmm, if Demon World had more of these fights, I think Demon World would change. I think that's a, that's a very cool thing. I think that's a cool conclusion to draw from this. Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff that I would like to have more of your thoughts, Makuro. I'd like mm -hmm. to I'd like to go into that a little bit more. So oh, yeah. please, next episode and stuff, let's focus more on the main cast and... Um, yes. a little bit of the things that they care about but y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel we stream every weekday the info's in the description yes yeah, so if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.